This guy is a genius. He used just a few pieces of metal and a small motor to make a miniature wind power generation system. Not only can it save on electricity bills but it also eliminates the worry of power outages. Let's take a look at how he did it. First he cut three fan-shaped templates from metal sheets. Then he took a PVC pipe and cut it to the appropriate length. He used screws to attach the fan-shaped metal pieces to the PVC pipe. Once the three fan-shaped pieces were fixed onto the PVC pipe, he had created an important part of the power generator, a simple windmill device. Next took a piece of discarded copper copper pipe and used an angle grinder to cut it into three small sections. He then hammered the small copper pipes flat. He also drilled evenly spaced holes on both sides of the flattened copper pipes. Once the holes were drilled he used screws to attach the three copper pipes and fasten them to the center of the PVC pipe. He then used a staple gun to attach the top half of the fan blades to the holes in the copper pipes. Each fan blade was attached with the same process. This design helps increase the wind power efficiency. He heated the top of a large hexagonal bolt and inserted it into the PVC pipe to secure it. The other end also needed a large bolt to be inserted and fastened, then submerged the assembly in water to cool it quickly and solidify it. Next brought over a small DC motor and a plug. He dismantled the plug and connected the motor's wires to it. Once connected a reassembled the plug. At this point plugged a light bulb into the plug and tested the motor by spinning it. With everything set up the guy went straight to the roof. He secured the frame he had made onto the rooftop. Then he installed the wind power generator on top. The motor was connected at the tail section and secured with zip ties. Now we can see the windmill spinning joyfully. Finally I connected an LED bulb and the power generated by the windmill easily powered the light. I really have to admire the guy's brilliant idea and craftsmanship. So how many points would you give this wind power generator?